What's good y'all man, it is your boy Jazz man and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. Also comment down below if you guys have any video requests or any questions as well. Feel free to hit me up in the DMs, I do answer. Uh, but as of right now, I am taking a break off of social media. So whenever I hit you back, I'm gonna hit you back, but I promise I hit y'all back. But for today, man, we're going to be talking about can Christians listen to secular music? So first off, what is secular music? Secular music is pretty much music that's, you know, not Christian. So you have music out there, you know, that's, let's say, for example, you got some rock bands out there. You have rap artists out there. So that's stuff like Lil Uzi, you know, PMB, you have Drake, you know, uh, DDG, Tory Lanez. All them other artists as well. That's specifically hip hop, because you know I have a history with hip hop when it comes to secular music. But could we listen to that? And the answer is yes. But here's the thing: when it comes to secular music, okay, there's okay. I'll first say this, guys: if you listen to music that's not Christian, that's fine. That is totally fine. There are some songs out there that's, you know, doesn't talk about Jesus, but yet it's still fine to listen to. Now, there are some songs that's like, yeah, it's kind of iffy. Let's say, for example, nowadays we have, let's talk about rap. Rap right now is terrible. I'm not going to lie to you. When it comes to the secular world of the rap, you have Lil Uzi, Polo G, and all them boys, the baby, and all that. Rap right now is trash. What do they talk about? All they talk about is, you know, you know, having sex with random girls, these groupies, doing drugs, and all this other nonsense, chasing the bag, and it's really bad, you know what I mean? And when it comes to the language as well, there's cussing in there, you know? And, you know, I'm not gonna, I used to cuss back in the day, I'm not gonna, you know, shame anybody. If anybody's still struggling with that, you know, but here's my thing. If you're a Christian right now, if you're a follower of Christ and you still listen to that secular rap, I can't judge you. I have no room to judge. But if the Holy Spirit tells you to stop listening to that, then I will definitely make that change. See, I'll go ahead and tell you a bit about my story. Um, I used to love all that stuff. My favorite rapper was DDG, right? DDG, Tory Lanez, I like Drake. I liked, a lot of, I liked a lot of rappers back then, right? That's whenever I was listening to, you know, the secular world of artists, right? And I love listening to it, bro. I, I, I loved it. Even now, you know, I still want to, you know, bump it, you know, like the Travis Scott's and all that, but it's like, what's the point? You know what I mean? Um... But going back to it, like whenever I started to give my life to Christ and whenever I started serving God, the Holy Spirit started to convince me like, hey, like you shouldn't be listening to that. He was giving me that nudge. And whenever he was giving me that nudge, I was like, yeah, man, this isn't right. So that's what made me stop. But if you're at a point right now where you do serve God and you do listen to that, but you don't feel the Holy Spirit convicted with that, then hey, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you can't listen to that, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna be like that. But if the Holy Spirit is convicting you, saying, hey, you probably shouldn't listen to that, then it may be that time to shut it off. Now, this is my thing as well. And once again, when it comes to this world, we really should not care what anybody thinks. But if we're supposed to be the, you know, the light of the world, just imagine you're supposed to be a follower of Christ, right? And you're just bumping Polo G down the road, you know, nonstop cussing and all this other stuff, right? And, you know, people may not know that you're a Christian, but if you're, you know, supposedly a Christian, right? And you're bumping all this negative stuff, right? This negative energy that they have, then it's, it just don't add up, you know what I mean? But once again, I'm not here to be like, hey, you can't do that. That's the Holy Spirit's job to convict you. All right. Now, me, myself, I, bro, I have a playlist. If you want to hear my playlist, my playlist is heat. You know what I mean? Like, what I listen to now is Christian rap, R&B, stuff like that. Now, 
I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I never listen to secular music again. Because, bro, if it's on the radio, right, I'm not going to, bro, I'm not going to be like, oh, my gosh, I can't listen to this. If it's on the radio, it's on the radio. You know what I mean? If it's in the gym, it's in the gym. It's whatever, right? Now, my playlist, is it just nonstop Christian content? No. My playlist is pretty much all, you know, yes, I have Christian hip-hop, I have some Christian R&B, I have praise and worship songs. <laughs> I used to really wasn't a fan of praise and worship songs, but that's how you know, man, the Lord changes people. I have that, and I also have Tory Lanez's latest album. It's called um, Alone at Prom, which is a pretty, pretty good album. I love that album, right? Now, some of you guys may say, wait, Jez, he's a secular artist, though. Yeah, he's a secular artist, but if you really listen to the album, bro, it's a good album. And, you know, it's not really secular like that to a point, you know what I mean? Like I stated earlier where they talk about, you know, all this negative stuff. See, there's nothing wrong with listening to secular artists, but what is really the main message that they're saying? Especially me, if there's a lot of cussing in there, then I don't do it. You know what I mean? Me, personally, I don't do with the cussing. You know what I mean? That's something I shy away from. I really don't. Now, I'm going to keep it a bug with you. I do have a song on there. Maybe, like, a couple songs that have, like, if anything, one or two cuss words in that whole song. Let's see. You know what I mean? And I'm fine. But when it comes to, like, this new age stuff, this new rap, that nonstop freaking five cuss words for each verse, bro, it's like, bro, I don't do that. It's me personally, once again, I'm not here to convict you, but if you are a follower of Christ and the Lord hasn't convicted you of it yet, then hey, he hasn't convicted you. But whenever he does convict you of it, then it's time to make a change. But once again, and it goes back to um, a verse um, I can't remember at the top of my head, but I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. Be careful what you see and listen to because what you listen to, guys, is really going to affect on, you know, what you do and say, right? Um, especially lust is a huge thing. And, and these, you know, some of these rap songs, they have all this, you know, they have verses about looking at, you know, look at that girl and stuff like that. And you listen to it and, you know, you may not even consciously think about it, but you may be out in public and you just start, you know, eyeing females, bro. That's why it's very important to protect your heart, which is why I really don't listen to that, you know, that secular stuff no more, right? Now, once again, to cap off, guys, there's nothing wrong with listening to secular music because, bro, I have Tory Lanez, I have Boys to Men, um, I have Mariah Carey, I have um, California Love from Tupac, and I have... Uh, what's it called? Savage Garden. I have a variety of you know artists on my phone. That's not Christian, obviously. They don't make Christian you know music, but I still listen to it, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, but the main thing is, can Christian listen to you know nowadays Christian rap or nowadays you know very secular music that's out there that's really you know pushing negative things out there, you know, spinning the block, you know, and all that stuff. Me personally, I would say I wouldn't listen to it because how it can affect you. But once again, if I'm not God, I'm not the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit doesn't convict you of that, then hey, you keep doing your thing. But if the Holy Spirit does convict you on that, then it may be time to make a change on what you listen to. Trust me, it's going to help. Other than that, that's going to wrap up today's video, man. I hope you guys like the video. Definitely like the video because it helps out. And it'll tell YouTube that you rock with the kid. And it's going to push my content out there. And that's something that I'll be very, very grateful for. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions. All right? And, um... Yeah, man. Hey, let me know if you need my playlist, man. Because my playlist be... <laughs> my playlist be heat, man. So, that's all I'm going to say. But... It's your boy Jazz, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, I'm out the same, man.